So I said all of that so that if you have a bad guy that's attacking you with the knife, you don't need to shorten that knife attack from that bad guy against you. You need to stop that knife attack against you. Today, you are going to learn surprising reasons of why if you use pepper spray in self-defense that it may get you killed. So let's get on with the video. Firearms legal protection. You protect yourself and they'll protect you legally. It is what I use and trust for me and my family. Check them out, link below. Today you're going to learn how using pepper spray to defend yourself in a situation where you would be morally and legally justified in shooting that bad guy can get you killed. But first for new viewers, I am a 20 year police veteran, plus I have also been unfortunately forced into a self-defense police action shooting myself. So the information that I give to you in today's video is from real life experience. Also too folks, in my 20 year career, I have used pepper spray against many bad guys during my time. So let's jump into true reasons of why using pepper spray in a deadly force encounter may get you killed. The first thing that you need to completely understand about pepper spray is that many times it takes a few moments for that pepper spray to affect your bad guy, your attacker, your violent attacker, it takes many times a few moments for it to affect him enough before it debilitates him enough that he can no longer attack you. Simply put, if somebody's attacking you with a knife and you pepper spray him, it might take a few moments before that pepper spray affects him enough that he can no longer see or breathe enough to be able to stab you. Here's an example video here, and I think this is uh, military that's doing pepper spray training, but you see here, these guys stand still. They take direct shots to the eyes and even after they are pepper sprayed they are still able to run this course and do strikes and simple takedowns and stuff like that and you you are able to see how they are able to fight through this and i myself got pepper sprayed when i was in the police academy i've been pepper sprayed two or three times in training and i can tell you this is while it takes your vision away while it makes it difficult for you to breathe a lot of times you can fight through it. Now it's going to shorten your fight. It's not gonna make you as effective, but if you're charging at somebody with a knife and they pepper spray you, chances are before that pepper spray takes you out of that fight, you're probably gonna be able to slice and dice them up pretty good before that pepper spray again takes that full effect on you. So the reason why I'm doing this video here today and I showed you that example video is in past videos where I have shown examples where deadly force was completely justified, I see so many people that comment down in the comment section about how they would not have shot that deadly attacker, but they would have used pepper spray instead. And when I see comments like that, then that makes me realize that that person that made that comment, well, I would have pepper sprayed him instead of shooting him, that makes me realize that that person has no experience or knowledge in deadly force encounters, otherwise they wouldn't have made that comment. But I can tell you from personal experience with having used pepper spray on bad guys myself and having pepper spray direct shot into my eyes in training when, as a police officer, I can tell you from personal experiences that many times it takes a few moments for that pepper spray to take full effect to stop your attack. And if you are charging at somebody with a knife and you get hit with that pepper spray, again, you're more than likely going to be able to get numerous strikes in with that knife or shots off with your gun or what have you until that pepper spray takes you enough out of that fight, takes enough out of you that you can no longer continue your attack. The way I kind of like to look at pepper spray is, is that it helps to take the fight out of your bad guy. It doesn't completely incapacitate him, at least that's been my experience when I've pepper sprayed bad guys, it doesn't knock them completely out of the fight immediately. It helps to take a lot of that fight out of you. It's hard for a bad guy to wrestle with you and to throw punches at you when it's difficult for him to breathe, when it's difficult for him to see you where you're at, for him to land his punch on you. And look at the self-defense laws in your state, but a lot of states that have good self-defense laws, when you would want to use pepper spray is typically when you would be justified in punching somebody in self-defense or tackling somebody in self-defense. 
A good example to kind of help explain that would be if a guy that's basically my age and my size approaches me in a very aggressive manner, has his fists up like he's getting ready to punch me, and he's yelling threats at me, and all I'm really fearing at that moment in time is that he's going to throw a punch and maybe give me a black eye or break my nose or split my lip or something like that. But at that moment in time, that would be a good time to use pepper spray because at that moment in time, as long as he doesn't go to anything else besides Besides bare fists and him being basically my age pretty similar to me then that would be a good time for me to use pepper spray that chemical irritant that would help take the fight out of him you know start making his eyes burn so he can't see me to punch me start making it difficult for him to breathe so he can't take those big gulps of air that it takes to continue to fight me to make it more I, where I can more easily defend myself against that bad guy with his empty hands, with no weapons, where he's only using his hands as weapons against me. So listen to what I'm telling you in this video or completely toss it out the window, but what I am telling you in this video is that as long as it is legal to defend yourself in the state that you live at, that you are not going to be expected to try to use pepper spray in a situation where you honestly feel like you're within seconds of dying from a violent attacker. Again, learn your area self-defense laws. And that's actually some homework for you. Look up your area self-defense laws and learn if pepper spray is even legal in your area. And it's because of reasons like this where pepper spray many times takes moments to debilitate your attacker enough that he can no longer commit his deadly assault against you that most states with stand your ground laws and good self-defense laws like that will not expect you to try to use pepper spray before you can use deadly force if it would be justified to shoot your attacker. Again, most states with strong self-defense laws understand this and their self-defense laws say, if you are being attacked and it's a threat to your life, then you can use deadly force to defend your life. But again, know your area's self-defense laws. Now, I absolutely am not saying that pepper spray is worthless and that you don't need to carry it. Pepper spray is another tool that you can carry for you to defend yourself. If you get into a situation where it would not be justified for you to pull your handgun and shoot that attacker, and if that attacker is only using his hands and he's about your height, your size, your weight, he's similar to you, that's another good time when pepper spray would be a, a good thing to use. Verbal arguments where a person's, you think that person's getting ready to hit you. When you would be legally, again, legally justified in hitting that person or tackling him. Again, that's where pepper spray is a great tool to have. I just, you just got to understand that if you are seconds with, within dying, if you are only seconds away from dying from a bad guy's attack, you do not want to use pepper spray. Unless you legally have to in your state, you don't want to use pepper spray when you have to defend your life against a bad guy if you have a firearm. You know, back when I worked the streets before I became a detective, when I would use pepper spray was when I was just purely physically fighting a bad guy. That was the only time I would use pepper spray, and that's because that pepper spray would help take the fight out of that bad guy. If I wasn't able to pepper spray him, those, those fights would last longer. And I'm telling you, 20 or 30 second fight, 40 second fight, one minute fight, something like that can seem like an eternity when you are really fighting with this complete stranger that you don't know. But a good dose of that spicy sauce into his eyes, that would start making his eyes burn and start making it harder for him to breathe. And then he would run out of energy a lot quicker. So it would help shorten that fight. It wouldn't stop the fight most of the time. It would just help shorten that fight. So I said all of that so that if you have a bad guy that's attacking you with a knife, you don't need to shorten that knife attack from that bad guy against you. You need to stop that knife attack against you. So comment down below, have you ever used pepper spray to defend yourself? And is pepper spray even legal to use in your area? And to learn why this self-defense law that is common in several states across the United States can get you killed if you have to defend yourself against a violent attacker, then click on the video that should be appearing on the screen just about now to learn that powerful knowledge. Anyways, folks, this is enough internet for me today. I do need to go train, so peace out, Girl Scouts. Oh, and I pray that you have a good night.